Hey everybody, it's Allison here with a video just to show you the Stampin' Blends and how they work. I have been playing with these over the last few days and I will admit that at first I was a little intimidated. And I kept thinking, oh, I can't seem to get the hang of this. And then I just started to play. And you know what? It was a lot easier when I just played and didn't think about it. And I watched the Stampin' Up! videos and it was so much fun. So I've got a few colors out here just because I want to show you some of the features and benefits. And then I want to show you um, how to color with them. So I have, they come in a group of two. Now you can buy them individually. So if you run out of the light color, the dark color, you can replace them. So that's, I really like that feature. They come in a light hue and a dark hue. So this one is Daffodil Delight, I think. Yep, Daffodil Delight. And then we have Pool Party. We have Rich Razzleberry. We have Old Olive. And then this is a color lifter. And I'm going to show you how that works in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to set these aside for a second, bring in a project that I'm going to color and show you. The first thing I want to tell you is make sure that you have something underneath your cardstock because it bleeds through. It's supposed to bleed through um, because you want to saturate your project with color. So I'm going to bring this in. Now this looks like it was stamped, right? If it had been stamped, I would have used Memento ink. Now you need to use memento ink. Here's what it looks like because um, of the alcohol based marker. You need this kind of ink or it will bleed. So you want memento ink. This is not a stamped piece of paper. This is actually a pre-printed piece of designer series paper. I received um, some paper uh, through a pre-order that I did when I returned from on stage in Salt Lake City. And this is one of the new designer papers that's in the Occasions catalog that will be coming out in January. And so this is perfect for coloring. It's like a coloring book, right? So I'm going to start by using the Rich Razzleberry. I'm just going to set these aside for a sec. I'm going to sit down and so hopefully that will work a little better for me. So I'm going to take I'm going to start. Now you can start with the dark or the light. It's completely up to you. I'm going to start with the light just because that's what I prefer and I find it a little bit easier for me. And I'm just going to color one of these. Um, I'm actually going to color this big flower here, this one here. So I'm just going to start by saturating this piece of paper. Now you can go in circles or you can go in straight lines, but completely up to you, but you want to really add a lot of color. Can you see how much color I'm adding there? I'm going to turn it over. I'm adding so much it's actually coming through the paper, which is what you want. Now they've got a, a, a pointed end here, and they've also got this brush tip. Now you want to make sure you completely seal that when you're finished using it, because it's alcohol and it will evaporate, right? So you can use whatever end you want for these large areas. I'm just going to completely saturate that. Now, they do say to sort of work in a small area, like don't do your whole flower. So I'm going to take their advice and do that. I'm going to bring in the darker color, and I'm just going to add it along some of these to add a little bit of definition. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this. I'll hold it up a bit, see if you can see it. Stand up so I can see what I'm seeing here. Okay. so. I've added a bit dark, but there is a bit of a line. Now, it, that's not bad on this project, but on other projects that might be not what you want. So you want to just keep taking your color. This is now back to the light one, and I'm just going to go over those edges, and I'm going to blend it in. So I'm still going to get that shadow, but it's not going to be a stark shadow. And if I wanted, I could keep going and keep adding, okay? So I'm just going to keep coloring this. I'm going to do this fairly quickly because we're on a live video and I just want you to get the idea of how this works. So keep coloring. This is the light one and I'm just saturating it with color. Just keep saturating it. Honestly, this is like butter. It, it's like coloring with butter. It's just so smooth and so beautiful. Remember, click those shut. Bring in my darker one and just add it for some highlights. Click, and you're 
always wanting to work before it dries. So I'm blending this. I'm still getting that nice contrast, but I'm not getting those harsh lines. Now earlier, I think I told you about the color lifter. Let me get bring that in. Here's the color lifter. This does exactly what it says. It lifts color. And I kind of like it for just sort of a nice effect. So I'm just going to go in here and, and just take off some color. And it's just going to add a little bit of definition. Just kind of lighten it up as if the light was shining on it. So I'm going to hold that up and hopefully you can see it. So it's not, this is not hard to do. I don't know why I was so worried about it. And then maybe the middle I want to have a lighter middle. So I've got Daffodil Delight. I'm just going to color that center of the flower with that. This is the light color. And again, I'm going to go in with my darker color. Add it. Give it some definition. This is a much smaller area, so you're not going to have to really blend it as much. And again, if you wanted to just take off some color just to give it some interest, you can. Okay, so that is the basics of coloring with these Stampin' Lids. How simple is this? It's really simple. Now, here's something I found. I colored my entire piece, and then I turned it over to add some tape to stick it on my card. And I actually liked the back because I had this color that was just kind of over this pattern. So just by fluke. So let me show you the finished cards that I made. So this was the original one that I did. Now I didn't color it all in. I just kind of colored one flower for a focal point. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to show you this blue. Check this out. Check how smooth this out. You could never do this with a marker. So this is the light pool party. So I just went in with the brush end. And look at this, you guys. I just, and I'm not saturating this because I'm just coloring with it. How gorgeous is this? Look at this. You just add it. And because it's an alcohol marker and not a water-based marker, there's no lines. Can you see that there's no blotchy? Like I could go over here. And then just, you know, kind of, if that was a marker, you would get these lines, right? Which don't look very nice. How gorgeous is this? So I hope that you will try them out. They are available for purchase. There's 26 markers and in sets of two colors, dark and light. There's also a bronze and an ivory for skin tone. And there's the color lifter. So they come in individuals, in couples, like in twos, or they you can buy the whole set. Or you can join my club. Uh, if you don't live near me, you can do it virtually. Um, you'll get, I think it's six markers a month for four months. And sort of a pay-as-you-go, it's a little bit easier on you. And I'll give you some ideas and some videos on how to color. Okay, so love that, right? So there's my finished card. And remember, I turned it over, and look what I got. This is the turned over piece. How gorgeous is this? Which one do you like better? Leave me a comment. Do you like the pure one, I'd call it? Or do you like the turned over, blotchy color, beautiful by mistake one? Anyway, thanks for... Um, sharing some time with me tonight. I hadn't planned on doing this, but I was having so much fun coloring. I thought, oh, I'm going to share this with my team, my customers, my VIPs. Okay, so have a good evening, everybody. Leave me a comment. Bye.